It took three geniuses and 16 years, but we finally got our first call to the principal's office. <laughs> Being here really brings back memories. I almost feel like that class skipping, whip it doing 16 year old again. Yeah. Now you're just the work skipping, whip it doing mom of a boy who gets bullied. Yeah. Honestly, I'm surprised it took Mark this long to get picked on. I mean, he's a weird, gifted kid in an Atlantic City public school. I wonder what finally did him in. Oh, could have been a hundred things. I mean, he says good morrow. He's a vocal advocate for thyroid health. He runs like his arms are trying to get away from his torso. Yes, yes. Mr. and Mrs. Bennett? Oh my God. Sweetie, are you okay? Who did this to you? Just give me a name. Kids fall off the jungle gym all the time. No, I think you both misunderstood. Mark wasn't the victim. He was the bully. No. No, that can't be right. I mean, Mark couldn't hurt anybody. Last night, he got trapped under his weighted blanket. Technically, it was just a top sheet. Mark didn't use his fists. He has a way of making people who aren't as bright as him feel inferior. Sweetie, you can't make fun of other kids because they're not as smart as you. Actually, the victim wasn't a student. You didn't tell me he was going to be here? <laughs> Mark bullied his teacher? No, I simply correct him when he is wrong, which is all the time. He has repeatedly undermined me. I've lost the respect of the whole class. You lost that yourself when you said you went to Dartmouth. It's an ivy! Sweetie, you can't treat your teacher like this. You have to apologize. All I did was tell the truth. Apologizing would be lying. Connie, you promised you'd make him stop. Connie can't help you now. 